he's the long-term answer to replacing Aaron Rodgers. He's shown me enough to convince me that he's the answer right now. And um, what I mean by right now, I mean now, next season, and maybe the season after that. Okay. That long term right. is, you know, long term is what okay, Aaron but you're did. you're good enough with three years of credibility. Like, you, you got the guy. As long yeah. as the credibility is building for three years. Right. Now, the credibility is going down, obviously. You know what the answer okay. is. But is now, it building in your it's eyes? It's building. It's okay. building. All yes, right. So you're, you're sold for now. Yeah, he's yeah. Out, he's ready to move um, from the small bank. He's, he's packaging his account up. He's better go to be walking ready to walk in the big bank. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, Wayne yeah. is right. He will expect look, big things out of him when he gets big bank. Oh, you already know. First of all, so let's be honest. Out of that we wait this on. is really truly his rookie season. Exactly. Right. Having an opportunity to kind of just sit and chill and wait. It's his rookie right. season, mm -hmm. and and whenever you're following somebody with a certain legacy. Everybody's going to always say, well, he, I don't know. I, you ain't never seen him play. You saw him against Kansas City. And to me, in my eyes, I used to always tell everybody at ESPN, I said, man, that dude can play. Hmm. He can play. He just needs the opportunity to yep. play. You're following a guy that did it for however many years, so your, your mind is going to be clouded to begin exactly. with. Aaron Rodgers in his rookie season, you ran off the numbers. Yep. He had better talent around him, surrounding mm -hmm. him. They didn't come into this Aaron Rodgers, I don't know, I know. They knew immediately Aaron Rodgers could play. So this whole notion and narratives was set that Jordan Love, there was issues with understanding what he never got a chance to play. So how would we even know if he was a player, but so far so good? He is certainly the quarterback of the future for the Packers. Certainly. Yeah. Yeah. Certainly is. And, and I say it like he's earned, I keep saying he's earned the right for them to continue to stay in this fight with him. That's what he's done so far. But when we keep hearing about this great quarterback legacy in Green Bay in the, the last three decades, I mean, we got at least 15 years of Brett Favre before another 15 years of Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so we say, will he be able to live up to that legacy? That 30 years, each of those quarterbacks only got one Super Bowl. Right. You know what I mean? 30, Put up some two, incredible numbers. Two and 30, you know? Right, right. Three each, and one, 30. right. each one of them got one apiece. That's what I'm saying. So, so yeah, yeah, if he can get this team anywhere near a Super Bowl, he's already eclipsed what those two greats have done. What they have done. And I love the fact that he's young and that talent around him, watching yeah. all that is young. So yeah, they got a chance great. to grow together, man. I, yeah, he's earned the right for them and to, to continue L this Last fight. year, during the draft process, Wayne, everybody was talking, you know, I was doing the draft. They thought, oh, they should probably take a quarterback. And I kept telling everybody, I said, he's better than all the quarterbacks that was coming out in the draft. draft. I agree. Because he been in the building. Yeah. He know yeah. that these dudes ain't been in the NFL building. They have no you idea. You to watch Aaron no. Rodgers. There's yes. so much he can learn Absolutely. watching Aaron Rodgers. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, as Wayne knows all too well, I am I was never an Aaron Rodgers fan. Finger-pointing diva, hard to love, but not hard to respect as yeah. a football player because you don't talk about great. It's more regular season great, but we're talking about four MVPs. Do I think Jordan Love is going to win four MVPs? I do not. No, I don't either. Because it's not even a fair fight. I mean, it's not, it, it's not a fair debate. I can't even put him in the echelon right now until we start talking about intangibles, leadership. leadership. He will be a better leader than Aaron ever thought about being. He will be a better teammate than Aaron ever thought about being. He will be more beloved in the locker room than Aaron ever was. And these are money in banks. You can go to the big bank and put that money in the big bank because it's crucial to the psyche of a football team. If you look back at Aaron's last four postseasons, they were sorry yeah. to me. Yeah. By, his stand, by his four MVP standards, he was just flat out sorry, and he let you down again and again in home games. In huh. home games, right? Yeah, them sweets do not cost oh, two dollars. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> that, that, well, thank you. Okay, because he lost to Jimmy G at home, and he he lost to Tom Brady at home in his first NFC Championship game ever at Lambeau. Him. You I lost, and you lost maybe worse than he lost. <laughs> okay, so. Now, now you have somebody, you, I believe you can not only believe in him, but you can love him. You can trust his psyche and his temperament and what he's made of. Because what I love about this kid 
Every time we watched them going back to the game when we were all three in Boulder, they played on Thursday night at home, mm -hmm. and, and it was against Detroit. And Detroit's a really good team. And if you go, the, the, he he made a couple of mistakes, and then in the fourth quarter, he took and the I'm game about over. To say that. He was really good in the fourth quarter. He's been. Quarterback. Quarterback. He's a second half quarterback. He's a Big second moment. half quarterback. Yeah. That's a huge thing you right. just said. In his first year of starting, you have already concluded he's a second half right. quarterback. Right. Oh, you okay? see, the difference between him and a lot of other young quarterbacks is he came in as a starter without starting being beat up by the media and other people. So his mental toughness, and I know him. I, you know, he's from out here, so I know oh, him, and okay. I know his mom. Okay. I know him very well. His mental toughness is there. So the noise that was uh, 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 reflecting off of the walls that he was hearing about, well, he can't replace Aaron Rodgers, he wasn't never even worried about those yeah. sort of things. All he wanted was an opportunity and a chance to play, play okay? Back. He wasn't a heavy recruit. He went to Utah State. He wasn't heavily recruited at all, even though... He probably should have been at USC. They like, eh, he's okay. He's just a guy. The what guy was, was more than just that's just us, though. We that's a whole nother conversation. That, we that's a whole nother conversation that, that we could have. Regime, yeah, but we just we really don't like certain quarterbacks until oh. Lincoln Riley came. That really oh. wasn't our we went through a stretch there with certain style quarterbacks. <laughs> just saying, you know. That was our, our deal. All right. So are, are you now bullish on your Packers going forward? Do you, do you still, do, do you like what you're seeing? Do you, I love do, what I'm okay. seeing. Right. I'm loving what I'm seeing. I'm going to always be with you. know, I'm going to always cool. be with Packers, man. Yeah. You know that. Okay. Yeah, especially if y'all beat Detroit. Okay. You right want there, us to see, beat that's Detroit. That's it right there. That, that you want oh, so that's there. the only reason why you're picking the Cowboys. <laughs> well, now I tie it all together. <laughs> okay. Okay. So if they win and beat Detroit, you cool. But if Detroit somehow beats the Cowboys, you'll take that too because the Cowboys lose. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so when, so when you win, win either win, way. Win Got it. Yeah. Maybe I ought to do that with you then. Mm -hmm. I might have to do that. Okay. He remembers Detroit. <laughs> On Detroit. They, you, you did they jinx away. my Cowboys by yeah, picking them at Miami. You, 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 jinxed, you jinxed my Cowboys. Skip, I knew y'all was going to yeah. lose. All right. Y'all at home. 15 in a row. Y'all at home. I got the Cowboys. I got y'all. Mm, I got y'all 31, I say 31-19. 31-19, fairly significant, just yeah. fairly conclusive. Y'all yeah. right? at home, y'all don't play at home. Man. Okay. And also all, all right. this noise y'all been hearing, and also Micah. Micah knows he needs to step up. Okay. And when Micah play mad, I don't think it is. It's not about really? what side you're running okay. to and all that. I think he... I think he, he's hearing all that. He, he, I hope he's not hearing it. I hope he's listening. There's a difference between hearing and listening. I hope he's listening to it. Okay. I like that. I hope, that. He, I hope it hurts. Do you think so he, he will get someone. some holding calls called on people trying to block him? I, I don't think he's worried about the calls. He better not mm. be worried about the calls. And I, he better get held. Mm. Because if he's getting held, that means he's, he's, trying to get to the, he, he's about to get to the quarterback. And you think he'll get to golf and blow him up a couple times? Skipping the last four games, he got a half a sack. I, I, yeah. I just said I. Well, that's because he was being triple teamed and double teamed. Yeah, he and he was holding him. He tackled. Right. All that tackles <laughs> and everything like that. You know, that, that's why. Yeah, so I also told them yesterday that, you know, Miles Garrett was on a five game mm. uh, slide. He got one last night. Five game he got drop, one last right? Night. Prior, one prior one to one. last night. But because people focus on those guys. And when three or four guys focus on them, everybody else has to step up and make plays. But also coaching. Like, like I want to see him. Like, er everything I'm seeing, I want to see Michael Parsons back over that center uh -huh. where he has that two-way go. You remember when they line him up over the center, yeah. man, sometimes? Oh, and he has that two-way go. And it a just, or B. It, 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 it closes everything yep. down. Also, I want to I see him it, do something. I think it does something to the quarterback. Yeah. It's like I said, you know, you're, you're right seeing there. him. You're right. The, the right. center thinking about him, everybody. That's a difference between, yeah. I ain't even got to think about up. you. You way right. over there. Not, right. not down. Right. Uh, when he's standing yeah. up. Right, mm -hmm. right. And he, he, he crashes everything. So, so I want to I see some more of that. Yeah, help, help me do some math in my head real quick, though, Michael, because you said three or four guys. What, what's the front on the defense? They got four linemen on they the front? They were four-three. Four-three. So right. if they have three offensive linemen taking care of him, that means that there's at least three guys on your defense. Well, yeah, that, that's not getting... No, I'm just saying, I just want you to help I'm me because that means if, if I'm applying three people to me, then that means that there's three people open 
that should just walk to the quarterback. That is true. I'm just, I'm just saying, I don't, you know. Mm. I'm just, you said it, not me. Like, but, but here's what I say, Skip. Well, well, well what, he, what he's not messing with, what he said. Sometimes you, when you're getting doubled and triple team, a guy's just going to, you know, give a little help as he takes right. care of his yeah. man. So so he's trying to, like, all three guys well, over here. Well, that's what you said. All the guys are running You free. the one said that, not me. I'm just saying. And, and what, what, what's going to happen, though, I think, Wayne, in this situation, is the Lions are going to win this game 29-23 because the Cowboys are at home. Mm. But as I told Skip, Michael, and you've been here, and you've heard me say this many times, at home, they've passed the quiz against Seattle. Mm -hmm. Then they had a test. Philly. Philly. But then they had to go on the road to the midterm. That was the real And they failed the midterm. But I'm nice enough. I'll say, man, I'm going to hear what I'm going to do. Mm. I'm going to give you another take at the midterm mm. against Detroit. You studied up, but you're not going to pass it. Mm. You just, you know, you're going to be right there on the edge. This, this that's is exactly true. where it's at. Because you're now drawing a team that's looking to bite the kneecaps off with the physicality. Yep, you that. know what Dan Campbell is coming with. That's a team okay? that doesn't believe You me. got the third rushing offense against a defense that's been struggling to stop the run. And I understand the numbers are, 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 are screwed up a little bit because Buffalo and Miami, and you add the average in there, doesn't matter. They still run the ball against you effectively. They're not getting away from running the ball with Gibbs and doing those things. And on top of that, you got to have somebody inside to stop St. Brown Aminrod, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Let's not forget about him in the passing game. Mm -hmm. If you think that getting Jared Goff to screw things up is going to happen, yeah. I doubt it very seriously because he knows where he's at in the importance for his future career as you start to talk about money and yeah. contracts and mm -hmm. quarterbacks. He, too, want to get paid at the mm -hmm. end of the season. Yeah. Right. So you're up against a lot on top yeah. of that. Jimmy Johnson's in the house. Mm -hmm. Michael mm -hmm. Irvin's in the house. Mm -hmm. All right. these big boys is in the house. That's more pressure that they now apply to the Dallas Cowboys to try to win the game. And they, they love pressure at home. The road now. It's tied with the second the best record Very good in NFL. Yes. But they've been, so, so they ain't been looking too hot. Mm. Yeah, yeah, them kneecaps, them, them kneecap biters, they ain't. Mm. Yeah. Well, see, that's but, you with the, the whole heart thing and the Green Bay. Right, you the got Packers, it. Right, the Packers yeah. thing. And remember the what happened last year. So they've been, so they been looking good to y'all. No, they lost to Chicago, but other than that. To who? Uh, Excuse me, to who? Wait a second, Thanksgiving Day? Right. To who? Thanksgiving right. Day? Thanksgiving, right. Day. Thanksgiving, Day. Thanksgiving, Day. Thanksgiving was a month ago. Thanksgiving, I'm still, I'm still digesting my food. He is. He's still <laughs> digesting. I'm still <laughs> digesting that line. It ain't, it ain't been that lions. long. Yeah. It ain't it's been that long. Ago, it ain't Stop. been that long. So, no, we'll I, I, so, so on that yellow brick road, just come holler at us because we know what to do with them lines. Mm. See? Okay. <laughs> Devour them. Okay. And your score is? I, I, I do. I, I, I got this one. It would have 41. Like, they put four, I want them to put up the 40 points. They averaged 39.9 at home. You can put up 40 points at home. And I say they put up that 40. I had like 40, 40 to 28. Mm. I, I'm not, I, I don't want this to be a close game. Okay, I want so, you to show so, me. So let me ask do you what so. you do. Let me tell you why I say this now. Because what, what do I always say? A weakness beats you. If I take strength, he breaks you. This is their strength. Mm -hmm. This is their strength. Playing at home. This is what they are. Every time I walked in that stadium, that's why I always looked up. I always looked up at the guys on the ring of honor. I said, man, I cannot let these guys down. You're talking about these guys are going to be in the building. I did that now, how if, you, if I'm walking around looking at these guys, you then you make sure you don't let them down in person. So I don't call that pressure. They just got to take care you of it. You retired 25 some years ago. Right. They've been looking up in the damn room. They're my name and they see me now. And they, in they, person. They, you've been yeah, at the game. Yeah, I know. I'm going to show up. I'm going to be right Michael, there. Michael, you've been at the game showing sure right up right. forever, and it's the same situation. No, no, no. I don't go to games, but I am at every game because they don't hear a game without hearing me fire them up on the intercom first. I so, get so, so, Skip, if the Cowboys somehow get behind in this game, I don't know what the score would be, but behind, yeah. where it doesn't look like you're going to win yeah. unless it comes a miracle, what do you do? Because you ain't got nothing to play for. What do you do? Because you we, ain't neutral. I fifth. think we will fall behind because I think Detroit is playing at a higher level than we are. And I hope against hope this man is dead right about this, the way you are not dead right about the Cowboys at Miami. 
I hope they pull it out and figure it out. With the atmosphere. With, with the atmosphere. But I, Detroit Good is together. serious business because we don't, you can laugh if you want, we don't have our primary run stuffer. Jonathan Hankins, once again, is not going He's to play in this game. He's a beast. And all of a sudden, they have as a physical and offensive line as we will face all year. Yeah, Penny Sewell them hey, coming, wow. man. They will be coming and this Jameer Gibbs is electric. Nice. Oh, nice. He is nice. He's nicer than James Cook, and James Cook ran us out of the building. Do you, do you sit him, though, what Michael? Swift, do you sit him? If, if you fall behind, do you sit the rest of the team? No. 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 You, you, well, you so they're going to play through I'm, four I'm, quarters. I'm, you're playing this game. Okay. Yes, they're playing So when you're losing by a certain amount, they're going to still finish. They're playing this game. Okay. This is the game that you have to try to get your mind on the right track hey, here to the playoff. Hey, Honor this, coach this game, you got to play. At halftime. Right. Not pregame, but halftime. Well, regardless, you It may be too play. little, too late. Well, they, they sit yeah. in the fifth seed regardless. Yeah. Win or lose, because Philadelphia well, ain't... Philly's not going to lose out. No, Philly, 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 Philly ain't going to lose out. They won't lose out. But, 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 you, but this, because you're coming off of back-to-back -back losses, and you only have two more games headed into the playoffs, you are lost, you, you're losing games on the road. You have to win this game at home. You have to win this game. And then you're going to rest players next week okay. going into the playoffs. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.